to get down to business. The action is coming up soon. So So we're underway, it looked like a clean start, just a reminder that time penalties are in play and we've seen plenty of those in the last few relays. We'll keep you up to date with any developments on that score, but the 12 men are in the water for this mixed team relay, just 300 metres. And we see an athlete taking off so fast there, and that's, that's Jamie Riddle from yeah. South Africa. He's such a strong swimmer. So Riddle is the first out for South Africa, 3.27, that's how quick it is in the water. Oh, eight seconds, that's massive over 300 metres. It is ridiculous. New Zealand, Canada and England coming out together along with the Scots and the Aussies. No silly penalties, got to be off before the line. All off before the line, yeah. And I bet Hayden Wilde's not going to touch his helmet strap. Well, yes. The, for the debatable <laughs> penalty the other day. It, it did look really harsh, didn't it? Horsey appealed. Unsuccessful. Great transition. Those two are away. Wilde's got about a 10-yard jump on. Alex Yee. And for the chasers, we've got Wales, Scotland, Australia are there. They're not, so 10, 10, 12, 13 seconds down. Or, or pretty much all the other teams are in there. What a great battle it is between these two. The two titans of men's triathlon in 2022. One of them almost certainly is going to be world champion in a few months' time. He is already the Olympic silver medalist, Wild the bronze medalist from Tokyo. Gold and silver on Friday for them in the Commonwealth Games individual race. And now... Oh, Yee's pushing on. He's, he's just opened a couple of metres. Wild is trying to hang in there. So let's see whether Sophie Caldwell can handle this. She's away. Phenomenal from Yee. And England have a really handy lead after just the first leg. Fifteen, twenty, almost twenty seconds. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Twenty seconds on a two k run. They came off the bike together. In fact, Wild had a small advantage at the start, didn't he? But great from Bert Whistle as well. He's managed to pull that that gap. I just think there is a massive amount of pressure on Sam Dickinson's shoulders. You know, given a, a lead, OK, almost half a minute, but with names like Hauser behind, it's it's going to be tough. And Taylor Reid, those are the two, aren't they, really, on paper, but could, and Schuma, but he's way, way back with South Africa. But the other two could do some damage, could he into this advantage? So crowd enjoy welcoming Sam Dickinson into the tag area with a lead to hand over to Georgia Taylor Brown. And it's a decent lead too. And Taylor Brown is off the last woman away she's for not, England. She's not wearing a wetsuit either, which is strange because everyone else is. So she will lose a bit of time because she's not got the wetsuit on, but also she's going to be quicker through transition. Oh, Dominic Coy coming in second there. Well, the lead is, I thought, you know, 15 seconds, that's what it is. Wales, New Zealand, Australia locked together, chasing Georgia Taylor-Brown, the Olympic and Commonwealth Games silver medalist. And she's in to Pals Paul. I would expect the gap to have closed a little bit, uh, just the fact Georgia's not in a wetsuit. But she's going to gain, uh, she's still going to have a bit of time and a faster transition now. One discipline down, two disciplines to go. She's still got that 
quarter of a minute gap. In fact, they haven't put any time into her at all. No, that's a fantastic swim. What a swim. Yeah. With no wetsuit. And it's 24 seconds again. Yeah. And she's going to be quicker in transition yeah. than the chasers. So we've got Stanford, Lynn and Hanson who are going to be working together. But oh, it's, going to be, it's going to be really tough to pull back any time on Georgia Taylor-Brown. She's so good at this individual relay leg. Well, this has been such a dominant display. She had to settle for silver on Friday, but on Sunday, it's going to be gold. Taylor Brown across the line as England win the mixed team relay. They have steamrolled the field. Oh, absolutely incredible. And the fit, all she's doing there is looking for her teammates. What a race from the English team. Ye set the tone. Coldwell and Dickinson took it on beautifully. And look at this! Non Stanford has got herself ahead of Sophie Lynn. And potentially Wales are 100 metres from a silver medal that frankly no one expected. Round the last turn for the ever popular 33 year old former world champion. And she's going to guide her team here to a silver medal. No one could have predicted this. Non Stanford. <laughs> Because Wales to silver, and Australia will have to settle for bronze. Australia. Team Wales. And no one can have any doubt they were the class in the field this afternoon. Totally deserving of their gold medals. Still the glow, but I tell you what, I don't think he's got enough for the last 50 here. 0.17 separates Leclerc and Guy. What are you thinking, Liz? Well, this is where Clever and Goff made their move in the heats this morning, and we can see now Leclerc is doing everything he can. He had to look to the right. He saw James Guy. He's Leclerc is holding on. The place is going wild. James Guy coming back, and so is Bowen Goff. Bowen Goff coming through as well in lane number six. It's going to be lane four. It's going to be Lewis Clerbert. Was it Jane Yes, it is. Lewis Clerbert gets it ahead of Leclerc and James Guy in third place. Wow, what a week this young man is having from New Zealand. The Wellington born Kiwi has done it again. by the way is 10804 and she's got this absolutely nailed she may have been quite a way back off the start but she's not now and she's pulling away from the Ufi in lane number four world record has gone don't worry about that but the gold medal has not the gold medal will be around the neck of england's alice ty now Ufi will get second place and coming in for third it's lily rice of wales they're on the board medals wise as well Hodge from Wilma, who's really trying to come back at him. How long has he got? Well, he's got 25 meters just under now. 
And this could be quite a scrap if he can just get into his slipstream. He's a little bit off at the moment. Tim Hodge, Joshua Wilmer, then the third place is going to go to Blake Cochran. That's assured. One and two now is becoming equally and increasingly so. The New Zealander is closing the right on the touch. He gets it. He gets it on the touch. What a finish that was from Josh Wilmer. Oh, boy, oh, boy. He did not leave that race until the very final touch. That's an extraordinary finish and a terrific win. All attention turns to those centre lanes and Emma McKeon away pretty well. In fact, she was the fastest away in lane number three. Shayna Jack in lane number four, but this is going to be very even. Emma McKeon is really setting out her stall here. And a really good start by Emma McKeon. She's going to be the one to catch, and she has the advantage just off that World Championship lane. But it is going to be a one, two, three for Australia, I think, and it's going to be Emma McKeon who gets there. And second is Meg Harris, Shayna Jack in third place. And McKeon gets another gold medal. 23.99 is a winning time. Ralk is second, and Harkin of Australia in third. Molly Renshaw needs the crowd to get behind her to get her into the top three. Our winner, that is nailed down. That will be Tatiana Schoenmacher. Second and third, however, very, very tight. Yeah, and at the halfway turn, as you said, but this was still 100 metres to go, and now Schoenmacher is turning on the class, but the battle really is on behind her. Abby Harkin and Jenna Strauss going very well. Molly Rouse, you're being willed on. And Kaylin Corbett of South Africa coming into the mix as well. Skirmacher, then Straub, then Corbett. That's your one, two, three. It's South Africa, one and three, with Australia in the middle. The time, 2.21.92. She actually went slower than she did in the heats. Harris in second place and then third is Kelly McEwen of course the crowd are really getting behind Medi Harris she is having a storm right here in lane number three Medi Harris has not read the script and she's going all the way with Kylie Mass and Kelly McEwen's in there as well this is a fantastic race looks like it's going to be the Australian to get there Kylie Mass will get second and third maybe Medi Harris can she get the touch? She has a new games record for Kenny McEwen. Well, PT will just about lead. It's not a big lead. It's 13 one hundredths. Williamson in second place will be in third. Normally, Adam PT will have gone by now. He's trying to put all those fast trip fibers into his swim and go and go. But Wilby's coming back at it. Wilby's coming back very strongly. Two up is Sam Williamson. PT's under pressure. PT's under real pressure from James Wilby. They go head to head. Wilby might come back. James Wilby might take this, and the Peaches going to lose for the first time in a decade. And James Wilby, and there's not even a medal. Unbelievably, not even a medal for Adam Peaty. Edge down in the fourth place. That is astonishing. What a remarkable result. James Wilby is the Commonwealth champion, and Adam Peaty does not even get a medal. The Australians are under world record pace off that turn by point 
1.19. We could actually see this world record go. That world record, 7.40.33. They're right on the world record line. What a fantastic anchor leg swim this has been from Ariane Timbers. Is that world record going to go? Oh, yes, it is. 7.39.29. And Australia are not only the Commonwealth Games champions, they are now the world record holders in the women's 4x2. Second will go to Canada, some 12 seconds adrift, and England with Freya Anderson come in for third place. Barking out, closing. But at the moment, Wales holding off the Scottish tandem. Here they come with the charge, though. Farky putting out that huge power as the Stoker. Lewis Stewart on the front, but Wales holding firm. James Ball's going to take this. Oh, it's close on the line. Wales get there, though. First strike to Wales. It'll go to a photo, but I'm pretty confident Barney Wales got there. Yep, Wales just had that one, just by about a quarter of a wheel. Very, very close, though. Look at that, Ooh, wow. They were finishing fast, Scotland, but Wales got there in first place. Packy under pressure here. Lewis Stewart, too, beginning to show uh, signs that he's rocking and rolling. This is a key moment now. Scotland trying to get on terms with Wales and failing to get on terms. And that is it! Wales and James Ball take gold. Neil Farkey beaten into silver for the first time in his Commonwealth Games career as James Ball turns table on the Scottish pairing. Brilliant riding from the Welsh pair. Thoroughly deserved. And that's how much it means to the pair of them. Can they hold this pace? 1.9, they're growing it at the same tempo. This is a great ride from England. Got to really hang on now, this is where it's burning. They've got to really hang on. Whatever happens, this ride is going to be good enough for a bronze medal at least. 107.554. Over two seconds faster than Scotland. The very least that they're going to get out of this final is a bronze medal for the pairing who finished in third place in the sprint. Starting to look a little bit ragged on the front, Caitlin Ward, but all that smooth delivery of power from the Stoker at the back, Jess Gallagher. She's driving this tandem on, but are they getting slower? Should be all right to take this one home. Australia pushing for glory and making it gold number two, which they do. Gold for Australia, gold for Gallagher, a double Commonwealth gold medalist. They have dominated the women's tandem events and deservedly so. Ward and Gallagher unbeatable in Birmingham 2022.
on the bunch there will be two points and one point respectively available and georgia baker i think is very interested australia working hard to try and put her on terms with josie knight on the points total but nia evans takes the five and uh Michaela drummonds takes the three points and they move up the standings into the top 10. georgia baker then uh rider 101 picks up two points and uh she goes into the lead by one point over josie knight If Nia Evans finishes in sixth place, then all is well. But if she loses that second place on the sprint to the Welsh rider, then it's going to be mighty, mighty close indeed. Let's have a look, though. Nia Evans hitting out a long way, effectively, with Georgia Baker on her wheel. Nia Evans right here is securing herself the silver medal. Silver to Scotland, gold to Australia, and bronze to Eleanor King of Wales. The points race comes to a thundering conclusion, and that was a masterful performance by Georgia Baker of Australia, who pick up another gold medal. Clonan is now threatening Mitchell's time in earnest and still just up. Clonan all the way to the finish line. This is going to be so tight at the finish. And she takes it. The very last rider, Christina Clonan, takes gold and in doing so sets a new Commonwealth Games record. Richardson with a bike length advantage and the inside line takes the bell. Paul having to go the wrong way round. And Paul losing contact here. Richardson holding off the man for Trinidad Vega and he's beaten him. Richardson takes gold. Paul Silva. Big turn, Mark Stewart has been on the whole way round. But now with two laps to go, when they come around the finish line, Corbin Strong is being manoeuvred into position uh, by his teammate. Looks round, checks where Corbin Strong is. Strong now in gold medal pole position in third wheel there. He picks the wheel of Ethan Veenan. Here comes Corbin Strong. Reese Williams up alongside him. Williams, Williams and Strong. Corbin Strong gets the gold medal. Six times all around Australian champion, and she really knows how to compete. And she's on her feet. Mm. Quite good length, but just a teeny tiny bit short, so she's had to stumble backwards. All right. Here we go. Top qualifier. Alice Kinsella. Chance here for Kinsella to take an early lead if she does this well. And that's the best of the bolts we've seen today. Thirteen eight five for Kinsella. Double twist, also just slightly short.
Achimpong, 13-9 for her vault. Very impressive lines. Back swing right to the height of the bar. Connecting elements. That full turn finishing right on top of the bar. <laughs> Beautiful routine. Wow. It uh, could be good enough to overtake Achampong. Showing the sideways choreography that's necessary. Dismount important, and what a good dismount for Godwin. That is a brilliant routine for her. She knows it was a good one. 13.75, and to the top she goes. with a double pike. She's got to hit it. She does. Well, she's thrown down the gauntlet, Godwin. And she senses it. Well done to Georgia Godwin for putting together four clean apparatus today. And it's up to Ampen Chong to see if she can catch her. I'm not sure if she can. Nine five for Godwin, assured of a medal. What colour will it be? Last line here. Is it going to be enough? A two and a half twists, it's good. What a response from Archimpong. The 18 year old has given it everything. Into second place goes Archimpong with well, a 13 3 5. Great score, but it's second for her. Shuffling across, inside oh. ball is good from Ashby. Just hauled in with Soraya Pucky, but Ashby dies to the line, stopped again. Inches short, Kaslik for Pucky once more. She'll have to just go straight forward and Australia reset this attack again. Great defence, but the numbers are wide and Faith Nathan gets the first try of the gold medal match. Kaslik will be the architect, the number seven. And away she goes, sniping away for Ashby. They go to Nathan, this time on the right. Nathan just to change of direction. And it's clinical from Australia at the moment. Williams with the juggle, held on to Chani. Great line from Ashby and an applause is given. For the player who dished the ball, Nathan. Oh, Australia have it on a string at the moment. We started the second half 
As they played the first, that's a brilliant ball. You're never stopping Maddie Levi from there. The young woman with the sevens word at her feet makes her imprint on the gold medal match. Vinayana Rewai. Can hear the comms, the connection between the Aussie defence. Oh, but that's a beautiful piece of work doing it all herself. As Ana Maria Naimasi, one of the veterans, gets Fiji on the score sheet and their fans jumping in the stands. It's delaying the inevitable, but oh. Fiji, the offload in the hands. Sesame oh. Ali Donu finishes beautifully for Fiji. But it is Australia's celebrations, it is Australia's gold medal. They stood tough, they stood firm. They beat over the defending champions, and now they have come out and played one of the near perfect matches. It has been exceptional performance, and that means hugs, joy, smiles, and gold. They go quickly, South Africa. JC Pretorius runs into contact. Counter up from Fiji, another penalty to the blitz box. Sean Williams goes quickly, the little man. Still going, gets through the tackle. Incredibly, it was down Gunu who couldn't stop him. Selwyn Davids, there's the kick pass. And, and it's Muller Duplessis in the corner for South Africa. Selwyn Davids gets it clear. Murphy, unaccustomed at first receiver, but does well, the big man. Drilled to the floor. And then Zane Davids goes in to secure the breakdown. Sean Williams has shaken that one off. One more pass to JC Pretorius. And he strolls in for South Africa's second try. So far, so good for the Blitzbox. Salturana scored a crucial try in the semi-final. That's gone backwards. Vakarun on Billy's there to scoop it up. Here's Dungunu. Look at Pretorius. Look at him. JC Pretorius again. He nicks it and he gives it to Williams, who puts it down for their third try. Zane Davids. Selwyn Davids. Duplessis around the outside. Muller Duplessis, his second try in the final. Some real daylight now for the Blitzbox. Salturanga now. He offloads the ball to Nathungu. Wasaya Nathungu, the little hitch kick and the step inside. He's still going. Nafungu under the post, a lifeline for Fiji. Undalovu is over the line for South Africa, and that will seal it for the Blitzbox. And the celebrations begin. South Africa win Commonwealth Games gold. South Africa have beaten Fiji 31 points to seven and the Blitzbox have won the gold medal. There it is, the best of the three. 143 kilos, another game's record for Achinta Shuli. Oh, that was a wonderful jerk. He was shaking under the bar before the dip on the jerk. That was a brilliant recovery.
Lovely and jerk. Look at the position. That is how it should be done. A super solid overhead. He believes he's number one. That's there, and uh, up into first place, and when you look at his performance record, he's clean and jerked 173. Better clean than the second attempt. That's it, it's there, another yeah. game's record in the total. Yeah, really strong effort. And that's a remarkable performance from him. Not to be. The strength's not there. So going for a clean and jerk and total games record, 116. Yeah. Rafiatu of Nigeria sticks the 116 overhead for a new games record in the clean and jerk and total. What a wonderful moment for her.
Jared Elliott finds the nets for the South African pairing. And that's game done. India, 21-11 to follow up the first game, 21-9. The crowd enjoyed that as much as Ashwini Panapa and Sumit Reddy. And that's how you do it. Nita Skoltz gave it her all, and that typifies her approach. But in the end, not enough to prevent Arkashi Kashya winning in straight games. And India have taken this tie, three love. They are through to the semi finals. Terry He and Jessica Tan get Singapore off to the perfect start. And Singapore are through to the semi-final. Just feel here it's the two players from Singapore who are playing the more positive table tennis looking to get in whenever they can. Nine, Ooh, I was rather three. set up but she missed it. Match points. Eleven sure four, enough. Game. Singapore, Singapore get Singapore off to a lead here. Fabulous rally. Yeah. Eleven, Got eight. it. Game. And they are in the final. Singapore. Singapore win three games. Chang Lee Sian Alice. Oh, yeah. And what a way to finish there, ripping Eleven, up the back five. of that one. Hersey can't three. respond in its first blood here in this semi-final to the Malaysians. Yeah. Does it this time. Yeah. The Welsh one the kick delivers again. Yeah. A semi-final in the women's team event is going to go all the way to a fifth and deciding match. Seven. 
It's all over this time. They've done it again. Malaysia will go for goal. Heartbreak for Wales. And for Charlotte Carey, who gave everything. But the Malaysians here are jubilant. And they will go for gold in the women's team event here at Birmingham 2022. Well done to them. An incredible time, that one. It's a Skyer, and it's taken by Grace Harris. Darcy Brown, been on the end of Hayley Matthews' bats. In the end, she wins out. Yeah! Leg side, catchable, and well held by Megan Shoot. That looks in front. The kangaroo is certainly very happy. Yeah! Oh, this could be another one for Alana King. Quite simple. Back leg in front of the stumps. And she is on a hat trick in the Commonwealth Games. The hat trick ball. Yeah. Yeah. Crisp from Lanning. Disappeared. Well, this could be wrapped up inside one more blow now. Australia into the semi finals of the Commonwealth Games. They're assured of a spot in the top two.
And they advance a crushing victory by nine wickets over Barbados.